the political correctness is such an open cult of ending freedom, of ending true liberalism, of ending free speech, and creating class warfare, infusing racial consciousness into class warfare, and whipping up giant exported populations to break and further destroy the West in an act of genocide against the ideas of the West. That the reason I would have a David Duke on is not that I agree with what he overall is doing, but because he is the mirror image of the spectrum that's promoted by Mecha, La Raza, the black supremacist groups and all the rest of it. And so he should have a show on MSNBC right next to Al Sharpton because they are two people basically promoting the same thing at the end of the day. And, and he may disagree with that. I don't think David Duke believes what he's doing is bad in the final equation. He believes he's a hero, a white knight on shining armor, fighting against uh, the globalist cultural jihad or, or corporate overwrite uh, of civilization. And undoubtedly, that is happening. But I see humanity being paved over by the Hollywood culture of death across the board. I see blacks targeted by the left who I have been around privately when they say we hate black people. So there's a paradox here where the truth is the left needs David Duke to point at so that they don't actually get the scrutiny and people actually realize these people are a thousand times, if you believe David Duke is wicked, a thousand times more wicked than he is. Now, David, we'll do the whole next hour, too, if you want, so we can each have five, six, seven minutes at a you know turn here going over this, but that's where I come from here, and, and, and that's where this world is going. I want to get people outside the box to see the prison economy, how they've divided us into different groups to play the part of the referee. So David Duke of DavidDuke.com joins us. If you want me to do your bio, I think everybody knows you're a doctor, PhD in history, author of a bunch of best-selling books, and the been a grand dragon wizard. Uh, and uh, all the rest of it. I'm not going to start making jokes about that. But uh, thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope we can have a good debate here. Well, I, I hope so. And uh, if you give me a chance to talk, that will be great. And I look forward to a real discussion about some of the basic issues because I would like to get down to the bottom today about who the real elite is in this country and in the world that is truly, as you say, and it's totally true, they're an enemy of all mankind. And I think for them, and you've even said this as well in the first part of the show, you said they want to, in some ways, go against European peoples because they want to control the West and the power of the West. And I think that's why we're in these wars in the Middle East, really wars for Israel and wars for the globalist uh, powers. Uh, but I'm not, a, I'm not a, uh, a carbon copy or a mirror image of Al Sharpton. Uh, the truth is that there is a racism that dominates America, supremacism. But it's racism, vicious hate propaganda and racism against the European American. Sure. Now, these are all Jewish activists. I don't say every Jew, and I agree with you, that not every Jew is acting against European Americans or against people of the world. But we do know that Zionism is absolutely a Jewish supremacist phenomenon. It is a racist phenomenon. Yeah, I say I agree with you. There are a lot of false flag attacks. And then, of course, you had the Jonathan Pollard case, who our Secretary of Defense said it was the most damaging spy case in American history. It caused the death of 200 of our operatives. Okay, you got, you got six our, minutes. I got four. Okay. I'm looking our at an atomic, government, our I'm government, looking at atomic finish, clock. Finish, now, now, what I want to do is, what, what I want to do our now. Government, our government literally is freeing Jonathan Pollard now, giving him parole. This guy did more damage to anybody. And yet this was not a question to show you that the Jews don't control. Why, why would the internationals support the Jewish racist supremacist state of Israel and the Jewish supremacy over the American media and the Jewish supremacy over American uh, academia if it was just a bunch of rich people getting together? No, there are Jewish leaders of the Illuminati. There are Jewish leaders of the CFR. There are Jewish leaders of the Bilderbergs. There are Jewish leaders of the media. And there are Gentile collaborators. But those Gentiles involved, they know who the real power is. They know the one force that they cannot criticize. All right. I've never had anybody Jewish try to stop me from covering the things I do, going over the things I do. And I just you know, sit here 
today having this discussion with you, David, and I do stuff like talk for four minutes, you talk for six and a half, and then you keep saying you're being cut short. So I want to just establish, I got to go to break here, that now we're going to have a free-for-all discussion, a normal banter, like if you were on Fox News or CNN, where you talk 30 seconds, I talk 30. We go back and forth, we interject, we have a discussion. I want to take some phone calls unscreened as well, but but I need to go to these calls too. But Rob Jacobson, you wanted to talk to David Duke. Yeah, yeah, I was just curious. Thanks, Alex. Uh, I was just curious. Um, I, I heard all this uh, conversation during the radio show today, and, you know, uh, Mr. Duke seems to be pretty educated in a lot of uh, parts of the world, and you guys were uh, talking about bankers. So I was just curious if he could explain to me which one of these bankers is the Jew of maybe the uh, founders, maybe the guys of the Jekyll Island, you know. I'll just name them off, and as soon as the Jew is there, the hidden guy, you know, whatever. He could he could just educate us, I feel. Is Nelson Aldrich Jewish, Mr. Uh, Duke? Duke? No. No. I don't think so. Okay. How about Abraham Pyatt Andrew? We, we want to name some of the Jewish names, or just going to name the No, Gentiles? I'm just curious, because you seem to think you know, that Jews are almost completely responsible for we everything know. that's wrong in the world that I don't really... I think Rob's think that, point is, I think there's only one guy that's Jewish on the list. Rob there is, there is one guy. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question this way, okay? Okay. You've talked a lot about the most powerful banking family in the world historically has been the Rothschilds, and the, the six sons of the Rothschilds went to six different countries and led the banking institutions of those countries. In this country, the most powerful capitalist banker by far was Jacob Schiff. He literally financed the Russian Revolution, and ultimately caused the death of tens of millions of Christians. The Federal Reserve for the last three decades has only had Jewish supremacists, Jewish extremists, as head of the Federal Reserve who support all the major Jewish organizations which oppose all the principles that Alex Jones talks about yeah, here. Yeah, but Mr. Duke, sure. this is not the origin of this place. You're, you're hey, definitely cherry-picking history here picking because to support your side of history. Let's go further. Let's talk about the original 1929 Big Six. Which one of them are Jewish? I mean, these are the guys that started. Let me ask a question. All right, listen. I think Jekyll Island was set up to try to get in as much of Gentile collaborators. There have always been Gentile collaborators. But you, there's no way to deny the fact that the international, the most powerful predator bank, on planet Earth, who practically picks the members of our Federal Reserve, picks the members of our Treasury Department, is the biggest contributor for presidents of the United States, both Republicans and Democrats. The biggest single corporate contributor is Goldman Sachs. But this is recent history. But this Goldman is Sachs is more of a socialist movement. Yeah, well, this is this is within the last 25 years or 35 years. This doesn't. Our, this isn't like uh, deep rooted stuff. This whole system was set up by the Rothschilds. I got a call, David. I promise. I'll have you back, and then would you like to debate Rob Jacobson next time you come back? Any time, because I can show. Then, then maybe that's the problem of why you're not talking more about the Jewish issue, because some of these Jews, they pretend to be on our, our side, but they won't recognize Jewish racism. They won't recognize I mean, the fact that every major Jewish... That's not fair, of what you're saying. Well, Rob is my what boss, saying, David. I'm, saying, I mean, I'm asking have you, my... Mr. Duke, to broaden <laughs> your mind, because what I'm saying is I recognize everything you're saying, and I'm saying... Let's go a step beyond that and look at the true group that's behind this. And that's an intermingling of who you're saying, as well as Catholic and Protestant and all world leaders who intermingle. Well, exactly. It's like the Masonic groups. secret societies have roots in Israel, Babylon, Greece, Rome. And of course, there's a Jewish Again, element to it because, so because, because I mean, your name's David, is, David. Why, that's why, a why, Jewish why, why, name. Why, it's part of our culture. If the Masonics are behind it, then, according to your reasoning. I'm not saying say that. Masonic specifically. I'm just Great. saying... There are groups out there where these people intermingle, and we it's have all like merged. Bohemian Grove, for example. Uh, these these men intermingle every single summer, and they discuss policy as well as creative ideas and scientific development every summer. And it, yeah, there are some Jews that go there, but guess what? And they've They're, had presidents and people say that more gets done there than anywhere else. That's all we're saying is that, of course, there's powerful Jewish lobbies and, and defense lobbies, and we're not debating that. It's okay. just that. All I ever hear out of people is Jew, 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 and then and then they make stuff about me and claim that Jews are running what I do, and it, it's just crazy. I think Jews run what you do. I'd like to take some calls, but you know if you're just going to run over me, I don't need to be here. I'd love to take some calls from the callers. Well, David, we're not running over. You've talked as much as we have. Rob, Rob got to talk maybe three minutes total. You got to talk an hour.
to respond to what, what the Jewish individual said here. He said, well, everybody's intermingling and everything in Israel. Why is it, if, 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 if it's truly not a matter of the supremacy of the Jews and the international globalists, then why is it that, there's the question, an open question, why is it that Israel is the only country on earth right now that allows segregated settlements, that Israel's the only country that can ban marriage between a Jew and a non-Jew by the basis of... Yeah, of I think that's wrong, and that's yeah. why you've gotten calls of, of apartheid and stuff, and a lot why, of it is Israel uh, is Israel has... Israel it, with the Palestinians and get away with... It. Hey, David Duke, you've been yeah. given... Let's just be clear today here, for the record. You've okay. talked more than I've talked. You've talked more than everybody else. You keep implying you're being cut off. You keep implying you're being run over, and it's just not an accurate... Uh, truthful statement. You have been given a ton of time here. And well, so let's just stop making those false claims.